<laughs> wow! Okay. Oh. oh, and he shows him that he was willing to risk his tournament <laughs> life with six high. Nice, yeah. All right, that was a very exciting hand and a very, very amazing river bluff carry. Please walk us through the hand. Okay, well, I have a, uh, I'm sitting on what, around 500K or so? And, which is about 12 bigs. And Nick opens up under the gun and I noticed he uh, sized it up to 3X, which made me think he had a hand he didn't want anybody to raise. And which he, hap which he happened to have, right? Ace four suited. So that's a hand he didn't want to be raised. So he sized it up. He didn't want me calling in the big blind with like a queen jack or something. Because if I hit it, then I'm going to just, I'm going to uh, go over the top of him. So the flop comes queen, queen seven. And at this point, there's about, there's almost like 280 in the pot or so. And Nick, Nick does a continuation bet of just one blind, 40,000. So I have six five of spades, and my thinking is, you know, I got some backdoor opportunities, and I got some bluff opportunities on the turn if a good card comes. And he bet so small, he priced me in. It made me think he was not very strong. I certainly didn't think he had a queen because I just don't think he'd bet a queen at that point. So um, I call, and the turn comes a king. That's also a card I'm not that concerned about because I don't think he opens for three x if he's got a strong like an ace king or a, you know a king in his hand. So. Um, he checks behind, which shows you know tremendous weakness. Uh, the river comes a queen. You know at that point, I uh, used a time bank. I just wanted to get all my thoughts together, and uh, you know I, I did about a pot size jam on the river. Unfortunately, he folded. So. Oh. oh, and he shows him that he was willing to risk his tournament <laughs> life with six high. Is that also the fun of poker, being able to make a move like that when you know everyone is watching and you also know who it, who is it who it is up against? No, it's, it's a lot of fun, but at the same time, you look like a real moron if he has a, a king or a queen in that situation. So I just got very lucky that uh, he didn't have a hand he could call with. Well, that bluff worked out perfectly for Kerry Katz. Congratulations on that second place. Very nice run. And you guys stay tuned to Poker Central for more coverage.